Welcome everyone. Today I have the Marvel Legends Studios Spider-Man No Way Home Deluxe Green Goblin. I am extremely excited to have this figure in hand today as I know it's one of the most anticipated figures from the No Way Home line of figures. And as we all know, the Green Goblin is one of Spider-Man's most dangerous and formidable foes. Willem Dafoe reprised his role as the iconic villain in No Way Home, which I was glad to see, as his performance essentially embodies the essence of the villain. And I have to say that Spider-Man No Way Home is, in my opinion, one of the best Spider-Man movies, as it has just about everything. And with that being said, I am just very happy that this amazing movie is getting new figures, as they all look phenomenal. Now let's talk about the figure's box art. The front of it has a very cool rendering of the figure. There's also a drawing of the figure on a blue background here at the front. At the top is his name, Green Goblin. And along the bottom, you can see Marvel Studios, Spider-Man, No Way Home. On the left side of the box is another amazing rendering of the figure. And on the right side is another rendering of him in a different pose. At the back is another image rendering of him without the hood and goggles. You can see the glider on the left side, and there's a smaller picture beside it that shows its articulation. And to the right of the figure are images of the other accessories. Then here's the top of the package and the bottom. And here's the figure and all of these nice accessories. Here's Norman Osborn, aka Green Goblin, and he looks phenomenal. And by the way, I have removed the hood and goggles for a while so we can get a full view of the face and overall head sculpt. So as we take a look at this head sculpt, we can see that it bears a whole lot of likeness to Willem Dafoe. I mean, the detail and likeness on the face are just amazing. The facial expression is maniacal and sinister in nature, and he even has a gap between the teeth. Furthermore, the hair looks great. Overall, this entire head sculpt design looks dope and is very accurate. As we look at the rest of the figure, we can see remnants of a tattered purple hoodie, which is due to his insane battle with Spider-Man in the condo from No Way Home. It's very detailed and is soft. Looking at the rest of the torso, we can see a myriad of details everywhere. There's a series of panels and mechanical pieces attached to the suit. And as we all know, the fundamental color of his suit is green, and it's a shiny, chrome-like finish. I have to say, it looks phenomenal. There are many other colors on the armored suit as well, such as purple, silver, and yellow. And you can see a long, vertical purple area on his torso armor. As for the arms, there's some more purple and silver armor pieces and plating. However, this purple piece right here on his right bicep is a tattered piece of the hoodie. There's some canisters strapped to his right bicep. In addition, he's got missiles attached to each gauntlet. On his left gauntlet, there are blades, which are quite pliable. There's a bandolier strap across the torso. The belt buckle is black, and there's some canisters attached to the belt. There's a pouch on his left side, which is where he presumably keeps his pumpkin bombs. Overall, the bandolier, belt, and pouch have excellent detail, and you can see the texture detail on all of them. As we look at the legs, we can see more of those purple, silver, and yellow armor pieces, which extend all down the legs. Looks cool. And again, there's so much detail on this suit that it's insane. Then here's a view of the back of the figure. And underneath the tattered hoodie, there's basically just green armoring. So as you know, the hood and goggles accessories are removable, and you just put them back on like this. In 
and there we go it looks very good and by the way the hood is a soft fabric just like the rest of the hoodie which is a nice detail here's a look at the rest of the green goblin accessories which consists of his glider a stand his mask a pumpkin bomb and two pieces that keep his feet attached to the glider here's an in-depth view of the glider so as you can see it looks awesome in terms of the color the main color is basically a combination of a grayish and silver finish and it has a somewhat shiny metallic appearance the purple looks very good overall this vehicle has a lot going on as you can see a myriad of panel details and various mechanical pieces on the top and bottom this thing looks amazing at the bottom are missiles on each side of the glider and they're quite pliable there's a vent right here the front of it has these prongs which are basically for impaling enemies and stuff and at the back of the glider you can see these thrusters which have a green paint job in the center in terms of articulation the vehicle's two halves can open up like this which is pretty neat all right now here's a close-up view of the attachment pieces for the feet and you can see that one says left and the other says right and you attach these to the glider like this then here's the stand for the glider to mount on Next, here's a look at the rest of the accessories. Here's the helmet, which looks amazing. The green paint application has a very nice and shiny green finish. In addition, the lenses are a greenish gold color, which looks very good. Likewise, the teeth look very good. And the black area situated behind the teeth that covers his mouth has a really nice texture to it. Then here's the pumpkin bomb, which is the signature weapon of the Green Goblin. And it has a lot of tiny details engraved into it. Looks good. Here's the Green Goblin cruising on the glider, and he's wearing his armored mask. Here's a view of the figure with the pumpkin bomb. Next, here he is, equipped with both the goggles and the hood. And here's a view of him with the goggles again, minus the hood. And here's the figure with the hood again, minus the goggles. Then here's another view of the figure. Then here's the figure in the poles without the glider. Regarding the articulation, he looks up that far. He looks down that far. His head can turn from side to side easily and it tilts. Arms raise up all the way. Here's a full arm rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and a wrist swivel with a hinge. He has a diaphragm joint, therefore he can pivot in various directions. He can turn at the diaphragm. He bends forward just a little. And he bends back that far. There's no waist swivel. The legs kick out that far to the sides. They extend forward all the way, and they go back that far. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and the lower legs go back quite far. The hinged foot goes up 
that far. It goes down that far. Angle pivot. So as I get ready to conclude, I have to say that this figure has everything you can want in a Green Goblin action figure. I mean, there's so much going on in terms of the detail, and the green chrome-like finish on the suit is just amazing. Likewise, the sculpted detail on the suit is dope, and the additional purple, silver, and yellow armor plating pieces add amazing detail to the suit as well. The likeness to Willem Dafoe is uncanny, and you can tell that Hasbro put an amazing amount of effort into this figure, just like they always do in their projects. The accessories look awesome, especially the glider, which is an awesome piece all by itself. In addition, the articulation is very good. Overall, this figure and the accessories all look great. And to sum it up, Hasbro did a remarkable job on this figure. Next, I will soon be reviewing Green Goblin's main adversary in the No Way Home film, which is Tom Holland's Spider-Man, which should be arriving very soon. And I have to say that I can't wait for the Tom Holland Spider-Man to arrive as is another dope figure in the Spider-Man No Way Home figure wave. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. And please leave a like and subscribe.